Ta-da. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to underglaze your ugly jugs. What I have here is the ugly jug that I made for you guys yesterday as a demo piece. And we are going to use some really basic underglazes. Underglazes are essentially colored clay. Um, we have very basic colors right here, black and white, because most of the glazing on ugly jugs is pretty simple. Uh, so we take the colored clay and we put it on top of other clay. We can do this when the clay is still kind of wet. So if you touch this, it's still really cold, which means it's not dry. We can put it on a piece like this one, which is much more dry. We can even put it on things that have been fired. We just need to make sure that we always put it underneath any sort of glaze that we put on. Glaze is something that you put on after the piece has been fired once, okay? So this is, like I said, hasn't been fired, and I'm just going to take some underglaze, I have them in a palette here, um, and I'm just gonna highlight a couple of kind of key places. So uh, the eyes, right, I want them to kind of pop so I can go in and add a little bit of white. We're just gonna paint it on as if it were paint, right? And like paint, the thicker it is, the more kind of it's going to uh, look bright and, and not faded, right? So we probably wanna do more than one coat. We can, if we want to, do patterns, right? I can put the stripe across the top here. Okay, so I can add some kind of decorative patterns. I carved in a stripe and now I'm going to add some underglaze to give it some more detail. Um, we can also mix the colors with underglaze, especially with the basic colors like black and white. If we wanted to, we could make a gray. So let's say we wanted to maybe make uh, gray eyebrows. We could take a little bit of the white a little bit of black and mix them together, right? It doesn't even have to be a solid mix, meaning that it can have a little bit of white and black in it. It doesn't have to be solid gray. And we can just kind of brush that on to the eyebrows. We can also layer it. So I put this on and it looks a little dark to me. I can pick up a little bit of white and layer that on top, right? And this is just to go through and kind of highlight the areas of the pot that we really want to stand out. Ugly jugs in general don't have a lot of color, so we're going to stick with a very muted palette, the white, the black, and maybe a little bit of brown or something we can mix. Um, and that's pretty much what you do. You'll finish highlighting it, you'll let finish letting it dry, we'll fire it. You can add more underglaze then if you want, and then you can glaze it.